Welcome back to The Pet Chef. I'm Susanella, and these are my terribly terrific dog children. Buckaroo, say hello. Buckaroo, <coughs> gaucho. <coughs> Bucky's speaking for him. Our entree du jour is chicken scallopini with artichoke hearts in a lemon vermouth sauce nestled on a bed of spinach pasta. I've filleted four chicken breasts, and here I'm pounding them. You want to fire up a wok or a nice big skillet and get that going so it can heat up. And of course, here we go again. There's nothing like real butter. Get some butter going in the bottom of your pan. And then, because Harmony Farm is primarily run on solar power, I like to do all these little things without the use of gadgets. So I've juiced about two or three lemons here. And I'm going to set this aside because this is going to go in my sauce. I'm going to use another lemon for garnish and also in the pan. So I'll give this a quick slice. That's easy. I put about a half cup of flour in a bowl. You don't need very much. I'm going to put in a little ground pepper. I have some marjoram, maybe a teaspoonful, and just a touch of salt. When I say a touch of salt, I mean maybe 10 grains. Now, I have noticed that there have been so many kidney problems in dogs lately, and so I'm wondering if it isn't from a buildup of salts or inorganic minerals in the dog's diets. Once again, we've got to get garlic in our recipe. As you know, it not only helps repel ticks and fleas on our pets, it also does on us, too. Makes sense. Oh, now we're starting to smell good. Okay. If you sluice just a little of the vermouth in the pan, watch, it's magic. What's really magic is how it actually browns the chicken in the pan. There we go. Now, we want to let these brown just a little on each side. And then while they're cooking, we're going to start our water for the pasta. We want to wait until the last split second to put that in because we want our pasta al dente. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, just a touch again, because that elevates the cooking temperature of the water. We give our dogs the same water that we drink because it doesn't have any minerals in it. It's processed through reverse osmosis. I have a theory that well water contains too much agricultural waste runoff. And our city water systems seem to have a lot of fluoride and chlorine. And I thought it was kind of interesting to hear that that great racehorse secretariat, he was only given distilled water throughout his whole life. Now, keep these going. And when they start to brown, we're going to add a little more vermouth and the lemon sauce. And put in a slice of lemon to cook in the pan, too. That just helps pump it up. Add a couple of bay leaves for extra flavor. While this is simmering, I want you to know I believe there are five requirements that every pet needs to keep them happy and healthy. You can count them on one hand. They need love. They need good water, they need good food, they need to be safe, and they need to be clean. Oh, you gotta just bite the bullet. To keep your dog clean, you have to clean their teeth, you have to clean their ears. Oh no, you have to trim their nails. They need this. They need a clean place to sleep. That means you have to wash their bedding. In our case, that would be my bed, wouldn't it? They need to go outside with collars and leashes and make sure that your name and phone number is on their tag. Bucky and Gaucho have microchips planted underneath the skin and that way if they get lost or separated, any universal scanner that a veterinarian has can read that and send them straight home to us. So you say you don't have time, you don't have the money, here's what you need. You need a pet like Scruffy. Isn't he adorable? He's so precious. You know what? He's not going to leave you a little surprise in the middle of the floor at night. He's not going to jump on your guests. He's not going to chew up the upholstery in your car. Mm -mm. But then again, you know what? He's not going to give you any love either. Oh well. I think it's time to check the chicken. Not the duck, the chicken. It's looking 
perfect. Needs a little more of a mousse. Wonderful. Time to add the lemon sauce. Now we're getting the bouquet of flavors. And what we're going to do is cover this, let it simmer for a few minutes, and we'll be right back. For those of you who think you're keeping up to speed with all this information, you can take a pop quiz at our website, www.PetChefHawaii.com. But for the rest of you, don't worry. I'm going to repeat all of this over and over on every show. <laughs> right, Bucky. Good boy.